We all expected it to be a bit weird and a bit crazy in this final transfer week for Man United and it really has lived up to expectations straight away. Jaden Sancho news exploding tonight. What the hell is going on? And Usman Dembele on top of that. What the hell is going on? Reports from Spain. Fabrizio Romano, David Ornstein, Sky. Ugh. I've tried to get my head around all of it so you don't have to. Make sure you subscribe if you're new. But let's run through all of this and this apparent bid that's been rejected by United. Now, before Sky Sports released their info on that bid being rejected, the Times released an article, and it, plenty saying it, saying that Sancho is willing to join United next summer if we can't find an agreement, that Sancho expected United to make a bid for him in the next three days. And then this happened with Sky Sports, saying that United had a £91.3 million bid rejected by Borussia Dortmund. Fans are buzzing. United are making moves for Sancho. Yes, please. Until Fabrizio Romano decided to tweet about it, the man that we sort of respect for his record in the transfer market, you have to listen to what he says. Now, this is what Fabrizio said. He's saying that during the last contacts, Dortmund told United again they won't accept any bid less than 120 million euros. It's still the same position. United were ready to make a new bid around 90 million, but it will be refused. And also they're pointing out straight after the Sky Sports uh, news was released, saying that people around Sancho confirmed that United have not made an official bid yet. And then you skip on to Ornstein. He's saying that, talking about Dembele, and also saying that no club-to-club -club bid has happened between United and Dortmund for Sancho. Whew. So a hell of a lot of noise there, but not really much activity. You've got Sancho being left out of the squad against Bayern, that's something to talk about. You know, it happened with Maguire before he joined, it happened with Van der Beek before he joined, and both of them joined. Doesn't mean he's going to join, but it gets the tongues wagging. And then you've got Sky Sports coming out of nowhere saying that that bid has gone in and that bid has been rejected. And then you've got Fabrizio saying that bid never really officially went in, United were going to, but Dortmund told them no before they even did the bid. And then you've got Ornstein saying no club-to-club -club bid has been made and maybe it's still done through intermediaries. Jesus Christ, man. Whatever happened to ringing up a club, giving them a price over the phone and them accepting or not accepting it? Why has it got to be done through these intermediaries like it's some sort of Lord of the Rings trilogy? It's fucking exhausting to report on. It's exhausting for you as fans as well. It's just exhausting. And it's not got us any closer to Sancho because lo and behold, 120 million is still the price. That is not going to change United. I hate to be the person to tell that to you. But then Usman Dembele out of nowhere reports from Spain saying that United were close to agreeing a deal. Well, that was equally shoved in the toilet because then straight after that, Fabrizio and Ornstein both had their say on it. Fabrizio saying there that United were considering other options and Dembele... He is a choice but would only leave on loan and he's been refusing to leave Barcelona and has turned down moves to Liverpool and to Juve. And then Ornstein saying that Dembele is a loan option only, completely going against what the reports are saying out in Spain that United were close to agreeing an actual firm deal for him. Now Dembele, as far as his agent has been saying, as far as everything has been suggesting this summer, he doesn't want to leave Barcelona. He sees his future there alongside Griezmann, under Komen, and what they're doing there. He wants to be part of it, and he doesn't want to leave. But Barcelona, they need to maybe fund the purchase of Memphis Depay and everything that they're going on with the mad restructuring of their club this summer. And maybe they need to sell players to make money. And maybe Dembele could be one of those. But as far as we know, Dembele doesn't want to leave. And as far as we know here... A hell of a lot of noise has just happened tonight with Sancho, with Dembele. You've got Sancho, the bid's gone in. Fabrizio's saying, hold on a minute, the bid hasn't gone in. And if the bid goes in, it has to be 120 million. Well, there's no point putting the bid in. Ornstein's having his say. Sky Sports are throwing their hat in the ring. Reports from Spain about... Jesus, man. Huge, huge circus. And I wouldn't really expect anything less from Manchester United. We are a circus. And I suppose that's what comes with being United. It, our transfers get talked about a hell of a lot more. Sorry about the plane. Hopefully that's... Uh, not, I can't even crack a joke about that. That's how muddled my head is by all this United, Sancho and Dembele stories. But it really seems like after all of that, United are no closer 
to signing Jadon Sancho, no closer to signing Usman Dembele as a potential alternative for Sancho, and we are in exactly the same position as we were a few hours ago before the media circus kicked off. Now that's frustrating, and that's United for you in the transfer market. As I said, as I was starting to say earlier, I think it, it, it's massively to do with the size of United and these transfers get played out in public like a real live version of EastEnders. Every twist and every turn there's reported on from four different angles. And it makes it frustrating as to who you trust. I mean, Sky Sports there coming firm with a bid only for Fabrizio to say, yeah, maybe not. And for Ornstein to say, nothing's happened club to club. It's mixed signals. It's smoke from one area and fire from another area. And you don't know where to point towards and who to trust and who to listen to. But my gut tells me to listen to Fabrizio because he's earned his track record in the transfer market. And as it stands, United are still not willing to match that 120 million pounds, that sorry, euros. United are not willing to match that 120 million euro fee that Dortmund want for Sancho. And unless that changes, we won't sign Sancho. Now the alternatives are interesting. Dembele on loan would be a great loan signing if he doesn't get injured. History tells us that probably will happen. You've got Saar from Watford. He's an alternative. Impressed me when we played Watford last season. Nowhere near as good as Sancho, but you'd rather have Saar than, no, than nothing. But if Sancho is willing to wait until next summer, would United be willing to wait for him? A bit like what we did with Maguire. We weren't willing to give the money to Mourinho, but we gave the money to Solskjaer. It, I have no idea. I really have no idea what's going to happen in the next few days. My gut told me at the start of the week that we're not going to sign Sancho. That no matter what happens in this circus this week, that United will not, at this point, go forward with a €120 million Euro bid. Because that would just be utterly, utterly, utterly pointless. It will make Woodward and Judge look like absolute dicks. I mean, they are anyway. But it really would make them look like terrible negotiators to pay. But we did that with Fellaini, with Moyes, remember that? The release clause expired and then we signed him a few couple of weeks later for more than what that release clause was. <sighs> ah, it's just, it's exhausting. It's really exhausting covering United. At this, and it's going to be a mental week. I, I didn't expect this mental video tonight, but that's the situation. It is a genuine transfer madness. It all depends on who you want to trust who you want to believe in and who you consider reliable. Because on the one hand, you've got reports from Spain saying that we're close to signing Dembele on a permanent deal. And on the other hand, you've got Romano and Ornstein saying that that move would only be a loan and that, and that Dembele doesn't want to leave. And then with Sancho, Sky Sports are saying that a 100 million euro bid has gone in, while Ornstein and Romano say maybe that's not completely the case. I don't know what to think anymore. Now I'm starting to repeat myself, but... Let me know what you think about that in the comments below. It's a bit of transfer madness tonight. Sancho, it seems like things are happening, but at the same time, it seems like not much is happening. So I don't really know how better to explain that to you. Dembele, clearly he's going to be a potential option as a Sancho backup, whether that's on a permanent or a loan deal. I don't know. Saar, his name is in the mix as well. Let's find out what happens over the next few days, but no doubt within the next 24 hours, some more madness is going to happen. And I will cover it for you on United People's TV, so make sure you subscribe if you're new. My head hurts.